recently bought a easy 3 X1 3D printer. It's actually really small. It's like, that's my hand and that's the box and that is the entire box. Like, it's not even super thick or anything. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to try to set it up and see how it prints. Oh, whoops, that's a credit card. I'm going to have to blur that out. That's a little embarrassing. Anyway, the first thing you're going to need to do is just clear your desk to make some space. Let's just... Okay. Cool. Alright, so I haven't actually opened this yet, but let's just see. It shouldn't be too hard. Like, it is a tiny-ass box. I'm not expecting a whole lot. So, what do we got? We got... Oh, a gift that I will... Well, let's fucking see what it is. I can blur this out if it turns out to be something embarrassing. Uh, it is... A, a key chain? Okay, cool. There's my little thing. There's a very helpful warning guide. Oh, it's in English too. Da 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 da. Anyway, so... Holy shit, it's actually an Australian power cable. I have a teeny tiny roll of 3D filament. 10 meters worth. Cool. That has a hole in the packaging. I just felt that. There it is. So... That silica gel is going to have to have worked overtime. I have a USB cable. I have this, and this, which I think turns into the filament holder. I have some screws. I have literally no fucking idea what it is. Whoop, don't, please don't roll off the right thing. I really need you. <laughs> okay, a micro USB card reader with a free four gigabyte, I think I just read. Yeah, four gigabyte, a screwdriver. This bit which does not feel like it likes being lifted from wherever I'm lifting it right now. Ooh, okay, so it's got... Looks like it comes in two parts. Ooh, and a power adapter. Okay, what? Why do I have a power adapter if I've already got a... Oh, okay, that's... You plug that into there. And that looks like everything that came in the box. Okay, so it looks like... Basically, you take this cable, thread it through a little hole... Oh, it might be easier to see from this side. Thread it through that hole, Put this in there, and then I guess there's just two screws to go in from the side here. So yeah, that should be pretty straightforward. I'll uh, let you know when I got that all together. Alright, well that didn't take too long. So, everything's together. The spool is the filament is on the really professional looking filament holder. Anyway, let's turn it on and see how it do. So, the hot end, I think, is becoming hot. It's hard to tell. There is a fan sound. I assume that's the hot end doing things. There's a play button. There's a volume up and volume down and the home button. So I imagine if I hit this, it will home eventually. Sort of expecting it to home in this direction too, because there is a homing switch here. Okay, so I haven't actually leveled the bed yet. So the instruction manual just says to move the head. Which, well, I guess move the platform, which I guess you just do by... I don't know how? It doesn't seem like it wants to move. Does this want to move? No. Okay, so it turns out you can actually move everything. You just have to put just slightly too much force into it, just so it really feels like you're about to break something. The bed seems to be leveled, I think. At the right height, so I can just barely get that under there. Alright, so it looks like it's got the filament in there. The thingy has stopped flashing, so I think that's what it means. You can kind of smell it. I've also set up a little fan to blow the toxic fumes outside of my room. Let's just hit play, and it should have a part on there already called like Cali Cat or something. It's like a cat box thing. I don't know. Play. Go. Start. Home? Alright, so I've restarted it. I managed to get it to, to actually feed in filament. I think the filament's just kind of fucky in there. You can get the head to go up by out a centimetre if you just hold down the play button for three seconds and then when you release it, it, let, it goes up. So don't do what I did and sit there for like 30 seconds with the uh, button held down waiting for it to raise. It's not going to. Alright, well, I think the last thing left to do at this point is to just press play and it should start going. Just got here in time. Okay. It's just started homing. It is homed. It will now re-do something. And I guess it's going to start printing, maybe. Yay! It's making a raft. 
in true 3D printing fashion, I'll see you in like six hours or something when this finishes printing. All right, so it's finished. Um, let me just pull this up. I just squeezed the bed, it should, yep, flip right off. Here it is, not too bad. There was a bit in the middle here where the um, shoddy filament came back to bite me. I mean, I think it literally wasn't feeding for like a lot of those layers in the middle there. Just to double check, I actually put a bunch of these little sharpie marks all along the filament, so you can just see the last one here. And I was literally standing here, like, holding the filament up and pushing it into the um, hot end for a while. Uh, eventually, it did pick up right about, sort of here-ish, right at the top of my fingernail. It started to be able to feed itself, so it got the ears in all good by itself. It's also why the ears are slightly darker. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, considering it's like a... $150, $130 Australian 3D printer. Let's see if I can't... Eh, you know what? The rough's going to stay. So yeah, now I'm not too upset about that. And there's just one thing left to do before we finish up. Alrighty, well, there we go. can join the rest of my desk. I just realised this isn't a keychain. This goes into your phone's headphone jack. So... Sucks to be someone with an iPhone, I guess. Okay, took fucking Christ a life, about an hour to set up, but I finally got everything fucking put away, got something to catch it. There is no way in fuck I'm ever going to find those glasses again, but we have to try, I guess, all for the joke. Anyway, let's begin.